Good everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, welcome to another episode of Platform App Builder uh, Certification Series. Um, so today we're going to talk about the Service Cloud. Right now you might wonder why do we need a Service Cloud, right? In today's time, right, especially uh, when we're de dealing with COVID crisis everywhere in the world, the what makes the difference uh, stand out compared to the rest of the uh, other different uh, other business, right, is the customer experience you're going to provide. Think about a scenario, right, you might have had experience in your time and back in the days when you used to buy a computer you need to call the call center and think about the wait hours right two hours three hours at times you got hung up right or think about a scenario where uh you've been asked to contact a uh, company on behalf of your um uh say company ceo saying that look we ordered uh 50 uh bottles of wine just 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 to give an example but and we haven't uh, received the items yet, right? And it's been almost a month. So as a uh, employee working for the company, so what are you going to do? You're going to email the wine in the wine, you know, brewing company or whatever, saying, hey, what happened to our orders? You know, uh, we paid the money, but we haven't received it. Imagine you haven't, you know, imagine the scenario where brewing company or wine industry, whatever, right? They decide not to respond to you because they are flooded with tens and thousands of email. So the first impression you get, look, you know, this company doesn't care, right? So next time uh, we won't be buying our wines from them, right? <clears throat> Excuse me, or your beers from them. So there are different one scenario, right? And take about, think about another scenario, right? You go to a, uh, a warehouse, right? Or you go to a, a furniture shop, right? And then you bought a uh, furniture, let's say you bought a table and chair for your house, right? Um, so since it's uh, working from home, is quite normal. So uh, you decide to buy, you know, table and chair so that you can set up a home office, right? Which is nice and fancy. Okay, so you decide to buy that from, let's say, XYZ Furniture Shop. Um, and uh, so once you bought your product, you realize that uh, there is a uh, there's a slight problem on your uh, with the chair, right? So he decides to call uh, the furniture company. So the furniture company uh, who answered the call said, look, uh, we're very, very busy. The person you wanted to reach out, the sales guy, <clears throat> right? Or the customer service person, he's not available at this point of time. Uh, but well, someone will reach back, to, you know, call you back. Uh, so you were, you, so you start to wait for the call, so no one responds back, right? So then you try to call back again, no one, you know, picks it up. And eventually you get frustrated, you say, look, you know what, next time I'm not going to buy furniture from this XYZ furniture company, I might just go for someone else, you know, who gives a better customer service, right? That's where the service cloud comes into picture, right? Where you can easily maintain your cases, where you can look at the case. So let's say uh, a customer, you know, raise a ticket, right, uh, saying that, look, I haven't received my beers right uh, and so that ticket goes to the queue you know <clears throat> and let's say you have a process set up using Salesforce right where if the case you know uh, is sitting in the queue for over two days it, it gets escalated to manager of that you know uh, the customer rep team and if it sits in the queue for another two days it gets automatically escalated to uh, his or her manager so this way the cases are handled more efficiently uh, because the thing about it right it's very important to have a customer service. Think from a customer point of view, right? Would you be happy you've been tossed around, you know, uh, you know, waiting for to be uh, responded and in spite of paying, uh, you know, uh, upfront, right? You won't be happy about it, right? So that's where the service cloud comes in the picture. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about how to create a case and the interface, like we have a service console, uh, what does it mean to use service console and other stuff, right? And then uh what do you mean by service setup so we're going to look at the basic stuff today we're not going to do about escalation process uh i would like to cover that in our next episode right so this is very important for your applied uh sorry for your app builder certification exam they will cover uh some area of it so if you so what we're going to do we're going to use the trailhead as usual so this is what we're going to talk about it so begin your service journey i mentioned a, a bits and pieces about it if you if you go here <clears throat> and you can see that it's talked about a different scenario, uh, you know, so, and then, you know, and then we have, this is how the interface looks like if you're wor working with a console, right, then you have a knowledge if you wanted to create a knowledge base, so we, we're going to talk about each and everything, uh, okay, so that's, um, and then we're going to talk about how to administer 
a bit of sales cloud. So that's 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 pretty much what we want to talk about today, right? Just nice and simple. Okay. The first thing first, you need to log into your org, right? Uh, if you haven't registered for an org, I would highly encourage you to do so, uh, because it's not a good practice to you know try it on on customer sandbox, right? Cool. So I've registered for my org, and it's a nice and easy. Um, so let's say I have a customer, right, who raised a complaint that uh, they haven't received the wine bottles, right, 50 wine bottles. So you can easily create a case from your global actions. If you remember, we talked about actions. So global actions are very handy. So you don't have to go to any uh, sales console or any other console for here. So you can go to um, you know, global action here. So you go here, right, and you can go to a new case, right. Uh, let's say the contact, let's say I want to do for David Muller, right? Uh, status is new. And you can say uh, wine delivery uh, uh, pending. Hey, we have, uh, so we, okay, we did not receive uh, over 50 bottles of ordered uh, wine right so um, so you can save it and then you go the cases are created so you can go to the cases here right uh, we'll take you to straight to the the service console right if you don't want to go to the service so this is how by default uh, it depends how you set it up so it will take you to service console so service console is this is how it look like nice and easy right so this is how all the uh, if you are a rep, right? If you're a sales rep, or if you're a uh, an agent who works in a, a wine company or whatever, right? Uh, so you can see the tickets that's been raised, right? The beer not delivered, in the wine not delivered. So this is pending, uh, wine delivery pending. So you can go to this case, and you can see uh, on the. Uh, so this is a case details, or not? Uh, so who's the contact details? If you wanted to go to the contact. You can go to the contact from here uh, it will take you to the contact details right and you can look at who's the contact is right and uh, uh, you can go back and then you know you can cases for you can see the the, the parent contact you can see uh, you can you know so uh, this uh, so you can call logs you can text polls you can state exchange and all the stuff like basic stuff that you are used to normal object right and this is attachment if you wanted to you know if they send you an invoice or something, you can attach it, right? That's that's pretty much very simple, straightforward stuff, right? As you can see, it's this interface is nice and easy, right? Uh, <clears throat> you can open another case as well, right? You can you can you know you can look at another case, right? And then you can see that um, uh, the motor design. Uh, these are the existing uh, cases that comes with the default uh, when you register for an org, right? Um, so uh, you can do something like that, right? So you can look at uh, three different cases at the same time. Uh, you know, you can go switching back, uh, you know, the, uh, the tabs and you can try, you know, rearrange the order as well. If you wanted to do that, uh, you know, you can put this as, the, you know, say, for instance, uh, you wanted to uh, arrange the tab in such a way, tabs in such a way that all the cases you worked on, uh, goes to the left and all the cases are pending goes to the right so you can drag and drop right based on your priority the way you work <clears throat> nice and easy right um, <clears throat> so this is a very very uh, handy uh, interface this is this is service console right you can also go to the service console by going to the six actor icon and you can do service and you, can, you have two options right service and service console so so this is how the service console looks like um, and we can customize a little bit of stuff as well using uh, using something called uh, service <coughs> setup. Excuse me. So I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, let me go back to the the service uh, here, and you will see a little bit different to service console here, right? And um, you can go to the cases here, right? And you can go. So this is a case. So you see that the interface is a little bit changed, right? So this just look like a normal uh, interface you've been used to it, right? So this is nice and easy if you are someone who comes from a sales cloud experience, right? So you will find this quite simple, you know, similar experience. There's not much difference here, right? So you can see uh, the contact details on the right hand side and all the stuff on the left. And you can customize it using, <coughs> excuse me, um, 
uh, lightning app builder uh, a few stuff you can do here and there right and so so you can do uh, fiddle with the stuff here and there right okay so I presume you know by now how to use a lightning app builder a basic stuff at least I've talked about when I was doing the sales cloud right lighting customization okay so this is one of the stuff you can do right uh, and you we have other stuff a lot of other stuff like knowledge and other kind which we're going to talk about it for now uh, because the case uh, it doesn't cover much about the service cloud like it's an admin so you need to know what service cloud is about why to use it administer basic stuff right that's all you need to know you don't have to know the, the lot of stuff in this okay all right so that's about the sales cloud and that's about the the sales the con oh, sorry uh, service cloud and service uh, console cloud now we're gonna uh, look at the service setup here so the way to go to service setup you just go to, to the gear cog icon here <clears throat> and it takes you to the service setup here right and uh, uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to uh, app manager here and uh, you see, you can do a lot of stuff here. I mean, this is where you connect uh, your customer to the uh, to the service cloud. Uh, so that's where the server setup is very useful. So there are a lot of options you can do with that. So for now, uh, what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna show you something. So we have this service. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Uh, we have service and service console, right? So you can go to uh, service console. You can edit. You can change the. Uh, you can change few things here. You can change the color. You can change the logo. Uh, you can look at an apps option and you know uh, desktop. Uh, you you can look around this kind of stuff. You can fiddle with it, right? You need to know uh, the things you can do. I mean, uh, with this one, right? So uh, there are a lot of things, but it's not required for the course. So, and this is how it looks like when you first log into your uh, when you arrive first time to the service setup home. Uh, this is all you know. Um, guided options you can do you know connect your support email knowledge setup if you wanted to set up the knowledge base right and uh, this is how to use the recommended setup right and if you wanted to know about the performance stuff you can look at it here right and yeah and this all the other stuff you can you know like usual uh, uh, usual setup that's that's pretty much want to talk about in terms of this uh, the setup stuff so I mean, as I said, right, if you look into this, uh, the administrator, your service cloud, right, um, I mean, I didn't talk much about it, so, you know, as I always, you know, I talked about this for just now, and um, uh, just, you know, how to do service setup home, and you talked about app manager, as I said, uh, we, you know, you can customize it, right, uh, you know, this is the stuff you can read about, right, so there are a lot of resources here, and I would highly encourage you to go and read through this uh, trailhead, Right, uh, so that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today because this is the two things. And then tomorrow, uh, day after tomorrow, we're gonna talk about the case management and digital engagement on multiple channel. And after that, uh, we can talk about um, at least and opportunities for lightning experience, right? So it's exciting, things are, a lot of things we can cover, right? Um, and like I said, you don't need to know, uh, you know, service cloud the way you used to know in the admin cert or advanced admin. Uh, you don't need to know. <laughs> you need to know the basic stuff around it. So that's exactly what I'm going to cover. Um, if you wanted to know more about the, the, the certification weightage, you can always go to the exam guide I talked about in my first lecture, right? Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today, right? All right, guys, that's, uh, thank you very much for attending. Uh, today's been a sh uh, the shorter version of the, the session. Um, that being said, uh, Saturday, I think you, I believe you guys have other stuff to do. Uh, take care and adios.